Welcome back guys. In this video for your main stack project, we're going to focus on log out the user from our front end of our application. So let's get started. If you look at our current state of our application right now, we don't have a way of logging out the user unless we go to the console and then delete the user from the local storage. But that one is not user friendly. So let's get started about implementing this function. But before we get started, before we start coding, we need to put your logic into theory. How can we get a user being logged out? First, when a user don't have any token being stored inside our local storage or our state, then we assume that the person has logged out, right? So how can we get that? About removing the user from our local storage and from our store by making use of what a function and because we're making use of redox first before you can trigger any action you need to create your action creator right and your reducer and then you call your action in your component as that so let's get started but before you get started i already have if you go to your front end application slc component um, Redux actions and action types have added one constant called export user logout request success and fail. I don't even need the, the request. Let me remove this one because I want to make use of only success. I'll explain to you why I need this. We can make use of all these constants, but because logout is a simple function. You don't need to keep track of the whether it's loading or whatever. So let's get started. So first, let's create our action. So let me head over to my Redux folder, users and users action. And below my, let me remove, I think from my, remove this one, let me create it from scratch here. So here, let me comment here, have a comment say logout action. So this is a simple function. I need to create a function called const logout user action is equal to my function. And this function return another function called my dispatch. And because it's an async, I make use of I want to make use of try and catch. So I make use of async and then dispatch. It can be like this return a nose function like that. And here we have our dispatch. It can be whatever. Yeah, but I often make use of dispatch to make it friendly. And for ESAs, if you have one line of code, we can even ignore this one. And I can even simplify this line of code, remove this curly braces, remove this, remove that, and then save it. One line of code as that. So here, let me make use of my try and catch. So the action means what? We have to what? Say, um, remove remove sorry comment here remove user from storage and it's as simple as this so here we say local storage dot remove item and what do i need i need user of data you also said where do i get this user of data remember when you're logging in the user for login action, you can see here, scroll down and see local storage item we store inside this variable to make sure you type exactly as this. Otherwise, you have error as you proceed. So with this level of code, when everything goes on well, then I will dispatch my action as that. So I will say my type will be user logout success, auto import, perfect. Scroll down up there and I have the auto import here. And let me export this as logout user action. This doesn't need any, this function doesn't take in any argument or parameters here. So next we have to make use of this um, action type inside a reducer, and then we can change our state. So let's head over to our reducers, reducers, users, and users of reducer. And because this application is a simple application, I don't have many states, so I'm handling all my reducers on one file. So but if I'm working on a complex application, like the one I'm doing, I'm doing I'm building an e-commerce application using Redux like this, 
So I've, I've, I've break down the releases into pieces. So I can keep track of everything I'm doing. But because this is a simple small application, I emit, I kept all my releases on one file. If there's more time, I can have the series as well. So here, we are keeping track of all the actions coming to our state and we can do whatever with it inside our, we can manage or we can meet it or change the state of our application. So the, the last line of code before default, we are going to make use of our case and say if there's a user logout success, let me show I have my auto import, user logout success, perfect. And then if that's the case, I will say return an empty state. So I will empty everything from here to empty state. So with this being done, we need to call this action inside our application. What do I need? I think I have an error here. Um, login action here. Let me see where is the error coming from. Try and catch. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's it's working now. No. Um, oh, has been already declared. So let me check user action. Oh, this one. So let me move one here. Save it and then let me look at my console. It's up and running. No. It tells me user log in user action has been declared. Login user action. Oh, it's logout user. Sorry, on my side. I, I guess you guys saw it. It's logout user action. So here is logout user action. Look at the console and we are good to go. So next, we need to call this action on our navbar. So let's head over to our navbar here, components, navbar and navbar so we need to call this action here right the dispatch so we need what is called use dispatch you can import you dispatch from redux like that and then it's a hook and we can assign create an instance of our action you dispatch we have been doing this until now and assigned a variable to my hook function now this dispatch has ability to dispatch all the actions I need. Right? It can be anything, right? It can be D or whatever, but our convention use what is called dispatch. Right. So here I want to create a handler. Let me say const logout handler. And a normal function. This function I'm going to use to dispatch my action. We can do it on the link tab here log out and then call on click and call it but i also want to implement when a user when a user log out i want to push the user to home page so here i'm going to dispatch my action called logout user but before that i want to make sure that this action is being called function so let me just console log say logout and then let me call this function on my logout handler so scroll down and see handler is no more a tag anymore. Make it l tag here from the at redux. Sorry, at router to avoid refreshing. So you can change all your l i to link, right? So here I'm gonna call when a person click on this link. So here I can call on click, on click like so, and I'll call my logout handler. So with this in place, let me head over to the application. Open the console. Let me click on logout. As you can see, I have logout. So it means that our function is being called. So here we can dispatch our action inside this function. So we say dispatch logout logout user action. Right? Auto import. Perfect. We head over to the application here. We have logout user action. So with this in place, let me head over to the application and logout. Boom. As you can see, it has pushed me to login. So if you if you head over to the console inside our application state, let's cast our let me move all this from this application building to make it simple. Let me remove all this from my local storage. 
from my local storage and then as you can see let me log in again and then let me log in and push me to my profile if you look at my dev extension tool as you can see we have login user when i log out like this extension to logout success now my user login is now empty right good so now the logout function is working but why is it pushing me to my login right so i want to push the user back to the home page but here's the case our navbar is not rendered by our react router dom so you don't have access to the props from our react router dom if you doubt let's try to console log props here and let me call console log props and then you can see that it will be empty objects let me check again head over to the console and then console here fresh it and think you have it here as empty object because if you go to our app where we are calling our router our test here our our navbar is not rendered our route so we don't have access to all the match and props here but lucky to us react router dom give us a hook called use history so i can start and get use history here and with this i can grab create an instance of use history as a hook so use let me call this one const history and it's equal to use history and like so so here when you console log history you may see i have the push and other stuff so it is in place let me refresh the application and as you can see we have all these properties from our right router dom now you're going to make use of push right this one to push the user so here as soon as we log out i want to make use history dot push and then back to the home page let me move all the console log here and try again so with this let me log in with the right email and then log out uh, why is it pushing me to my login again all right i think it looks weird here right when i call the logout user action why is it pushing me to log in again i think i might be handling it in some of my state here um okay so let me head over to our app here and see where the error is coming from up here and oh sorry for my home i make use of login again so let me move this well let me even create a route right because there's no route handling the home and this one to be a home page but we don't have any component so let me quickly create a component called home page right a demo component to so home page dot js and then let me have a dummy snippet of my component here and let me call this one home page like so save it so let me go to the app component and then render my home page perfect so it is in place let's try again let me log in wrong email i have it log out and log in sorry and then log out it's still pushing me to log in it looks weird right i don't know where the error is coming from exact path home page when i call the action I don't want to make this video long, so I will find a way of fixing that bug. So guys, thanks for watching.